The author also mentioned that falling in love is not an act of will, it is an act of instinct. Like, it's like saying we cannot make ourselves fall in love consciously. Like, uh, for example, I want to fall in love right now. And I want to fall in love with you right now. It just, just doesn't happen that way. So, uh, it is rather that experience. This has been done, believe it or not, that there's an experiment or uh, studies shown that uh, when we fall in love, we get into this so-called uh, phenomenon called in love experience. Okay, and this in love experience uh, has an average lifespan of about two years, so some shorter, some longer, so that's average of two years. And in this period of in love experience, uh, we feel we feel a lot for each other. We we just obsess with one another. We just want to hug, kiss, spend time with one another, and then all the flaws that each other has is totally ignored, and everything just seems so perfect. <laughs> and it is only when this in love experience pass. Okay, our conscious takes over because reality kicks in. Okay, reality kicks in when you you, you find that hey, uh, why why is it that the clothes are living all around, uh, lying all around right now? Okay, or the toilet seat. Hey, how come it's up, not down? That kind of thing. It it starts to surface, and and this is called a transition from the instinct or unconscious state to the conscious state. And this is where we must consciously decide to pursue a long-lasting love with the person we are committed to in this relationship. There's this quote that, or rather a paragraph that I, I really love from this book and I really like to uh, read from it. It goes like this, that kind of love requires effort and discipline. It is a choice to expend energy in an effort to benefit the other person, knowing that if his or her life is enriched by your effort, you too will find a sense of satisfaction, the satisfaction of having genuinely loved another. Beautiful, isn't it? And I'm really very blessed to have read this book again because it provided me new insights as well as uh, benefited me in my current relationship. So I really hope that uh, after all this, you can find your love language, your primary love language, as well as your partner's primary love language, and then bring your relationship to the next level. So here I'll just go into the first of the five languages, which is words of affirmation. <laughs>